Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are fine. So today students, we are going to begin with the next topic that is compound words. Now as the word or as the name indicates, let us see what do we understand by compound words. Now look at the examples. Yes, read it aloud. Play ground, dog house, football, butterfly, sunflower. So here if we go through these words and if you observe it, we may find what we may find. Let us see ahead. These are known as compound words. So, a compound word has its own special meaning separate from the words used to make it. Now, this is the definition and the earlier were the examples. So, now we'll move ahead and see what is exactly the meaning of it. Now, if you look at the given words, now two words put together to make a new word with a new meaning. That means what? We are taking two words separately and then we are combining them and we get a completely new word with a new meaning. For example, butter as you all eat now. You all relish with the butter, butter bread, now butter plus fly. This is fly, correct? So, butter plus fly is equal to what? Butterfly. So, when we join these two words, it becomes a completely new word that is butterfly. So, two words we put together, both have different meaning, but when combined the meaning is totally different. Cup and cake. Cup, it has got different meaning. Cake, you all know. But when joined together, they are known as a cup cake. That means the small cakes which we relish. Then hot. Then dog. Hot is what? Hot is sun. And dog, you all know. Dog is what? A faithful animal. Now here, if you put together, we get a hot dog. That is the snacks which we eat. So two words, they combine together, but make a completely different meaning that is known as a compound words. Now one more example. Now what is it? This is snow and this is man. So when I combine these two different words, it gives me a completely different meaning. That is the snowman. So, snow plus man is equal to snowman. So, snowman is a compound word. So, what we understand from this is what? When two words are used together to do the work of noun or an adjective, they are known as compound words. Now, how to form the compound word? Compound words can be formed by joining two words. Sometimes two words are separate. Sometimes they are treated as one. In some cases, you may need to put a hyphen between the two words. Generally, if the compound word is one, which is used very often, then two words are treated as one. So, here... What do we understand from it? That the two words are joined together but sometimes even the hyphen is used to connect it to make a compound word. So two words joined together to do the work of noun or an adjective. For example, home plus work. Now home is different, work is different but when we combine it makes what? Homework. That is the task given by the teacher. Feed plus bag. So the 
compound word is feed bag mouth watering mouth and watering means what when we have watered the plants but here mouth plus watering it becomes mouth watering when we see certain food which we like so much mouth watering dishes for example your pizza your burgers even the pani puris yes or not sun baked sun baked long has got different meaning than jump but when to bring put together they are known as long jump that is one of the game which the athletes perform the life plus bell life bell so these are the compound words so children now the assignment time now in the assignment what are you supposed to do now what is given here you are supposed to match the words in the bracket a with the words in the bracket b to form the compound words and then write down them now a and b two brackets are being given in which you have to what you have to match and then you are supposed to form 12 words now t set then what you know here you have to what you have to combine them and then you have to form a completely new word for example black board washing machine so like this whatever is there you have to combine them and you have to write down and form the completely different and new word chewing then gum now in question number 2 now in this see earlier example what was given that the words were given you have to only join and make a new compound word but here what are you expected to do is that the word is given the half word the beginning word is given or the end word is given here you can make as many as compound words as possible so first one is done na break so breakfast day break then earth then fire fireball world world cup so like this you can form the various compound words by writing as many as examples as possible so you are supposed to make compound words as much as you can make and then you are supposed to write it here i hope you all have understood the meaning of the compound words thank you children god bless you all